Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. So we can start. We can start with the prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day you have given us to study your word. Lord, you are teaching us. You help us to understand the secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom. Lord, you reveal us. You teach us. You guide us. And you help us to understand so that this word, we know that this word is the truth. And it is what the truth that sets us free, Lord Jesus. Because you said in your word, it is the truth that makes me free. It is the truth right now, Lord, which is setting us completely free from every lie of the devil. And you are teaching us in a very, very simple, very easy, and a very, very practical way. Lord, you reveal us, Lord. For the, you have given us this word. This word is the, the, you know, the word is the thing you have given us to know more about you. It is only through the word that we can understand your nature. It is only through your word that we can understand the character. It is only through the word that we can understand your love for us. Lord, you reveal us in a very, very simple, very, very easy and a very practical way. I thank you and praise you, Lord, for this blessing you have given us in a most holy and precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, thank you, Jesus. So, yesterday was um, Good Friday. So, since it was Good Friday, I thought we should learn on, we should uh, revise on the divine exchange which took place on the cross, the things which Jesus has done for us that has made us free. So uh, we will study on divine exchange, praise God. And if you have any questions, you can ask in, if, about divine exchange and we will study. Now, first thing I will ask you is, what, what do you know, what is your knowledge about what Jesus did for us on the cross? What do you know about what Jesus did? Yes, Nathan. Um, so Jesus, uh, Jesus died on the cross for us. So because God sent him down to earth, uh, yeah. so he can um, die, so um, our sins will be forgiven. And he also, uh, he also, um, uh, he also predicted that uh, at the Last Supper that Peter will be betray him by saying... We'll deny him. him we'll deny three him three times. times. Yeah, yeah, we'll deny him, yeah. We'll deny him three times before the cock crows. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, Daniel is saying in the chat, yesterday it was the day when Jesus dies, correct? And to make us not go to hell. Yes, correct, correct. That is correct. Because then... We are set free from sin. Now we, our destination is no longer going to be hell, but heaven. So in, before we go into the teaching, we see in the Bible, we see that Jesus sacrificed everything for us. Yes, he sacrificed this whole, you know, he sacrificed uh, his, his, uh, his life for us. So what do you mean by the word sacrifice? He gave up. Gave up. Okay. Now, example. We'll learn on this sacrifice. Then we'll go to the divine exchange. Now, when you say the word sacrifice, sacrifice, is it out of duty? Okay. Example. There is a mother. And the mother has the child. Okay, now the mother is a nurse and the nurse is 
working in the hospital and in the hospital she meets a son a sick a sick boy who is the same age of her own son now will she look after the uh, son because out of love out of that boy because out of love no she will do it out it's of a job a job her duty she will do it out of her duty to uh, look after the boy and will she uh, if if uh, if she goes at 9 o'clock and she she starts at 9 o'clock her duty starts at 9 o'clock and finishes at 6 o'clock will she stay 2 hours extra she will go at 8 o'clock never because she has to i'm sure she would have been a uh, very ex i don't think she would stay unless somebody she was such a mother that they would probably she, die could she would go uh, she would pack her things even before 5 minutes or 10 minutes yeah yes correct he would you know they would you uh, would even get ready she would have packed all that stuff and she's ready to go yes she will not stay yes. but if it is a whole son now whole night is she ready to stay awake to look after her son her own son yeah because it's her son yes now sacrifice okay if you want you can write down sacrifice is not a duty but sacrifice is something i give up out of love it is something i lose something i give up something i which which is my desire which is my favorite which is my the best uh, best something which you love you give it up because you love somebody hallelujah but if that same mother if she says to the son i love you but then when it comes to the sacrifice she saying oh no i have to go to work so i'm going to sleep you look after yourself but remember i love you is that called sacrifice no no that is that, that is, is lip no. service yes lip service that was, that was what i was going to say it's called a uh, sacrifice but it is lip service it is lip service it is something that she is just speaking she is just saying i love you but her actions do not correspond so sacrifice is my from my heart i love you and my actions uh, correspond and my actions show that i love you thank you jesus thank you holy spirit press god if my heart condition is right if it's wrong if it's not right now how many sacrifice i make not even one sacrifice can please god can you put that romans chapter 12 verse 1 one minute one minute i just wait. yeah thank you jesus thank you thank you my father thank you i just open romans chapter 12 Verses one. Okay. Okay, you can uh, read it. Knock if you want. You can read. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you can read. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you may present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto which is your reasonable service Okay can you put NRS we will see from NRS we Thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you 
Okay, I I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Now we were saying spiritual worship means spirit, the the spiritual worship. Worship means to offer myself as a living sacrifice. We have studied on this. I'm not going to go that deep, but I'll just give you an a small explanation. Okay. When you see spiritual worship, when you see the worship word worship, where in the Bible it's talking about offering yourself as a living sacrifice. Now, living sacrifices. That's why. That's why we were saying sacrifices, where I'm giving up something out of love. And that is my worship. Praise God. So when you say Jesus, Jesus sacrificed. That was what he was. Yeah, how he worshipped the Father. He sacrificed everything he had for you and me. He sacrificed everything. He sacrificed mainly his life for you and me, so that we can be saved. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. So God is pleased when I sacrifice, sacrifice with pure love. That is what pleases God. When my sacrifice is not only with lip service, saying, "Lord, I love you," but when it is from the heart, when I really love God and I prove to God that I love God by my, I choose to sacrifice. When I do that, means now. I will see the you know I am able to see the love of I'm I'm able to see God's uh, invisible power when I'm sacrificing because I'm worshiping God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, now let's go and study about uh, what happens in the divine exchange. Are we studying what we are studying? Studying. The divine exchange that took place on the cross. Okay. Okay. So let's go to Isaiah chapter fifty verse six. We're studying because yesterday was Good Friday, so we'll study on what Jesus did. Isaiah chapter fifty three. Hallelujah. Fifty three was six. Yeah, you can put from KJ. We know. Okay. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned. Everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Now, what this means by we have gone our own way, we have turned everyone to his own way, means we choose the way we want to live. Many a times we see the scripture, we have the evidence in the scripture. God is telling us, uh, you know, about God is saying. I I love you, and God is saying uh, that God has a plan for us. He's saying you have the He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. He's saying so many things in the Bible, but then because we have turned our own way, that's why we cannot see the result in our life. Praise God! We we have turned out. Our own way, we choose the way we want to live. We have, we want to have our worldly desires. We want to build. We want to have whatever is whatever we want to come into life into manifestation. That is wrong. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Now, we choose the way we want to live, not according to His word. The word is telling us uh, that we have the mind of Christ. The word is telling us 
preach the gospel, share the good news, heal the sick, raise the dead. But then it is we who choose, he, we want to make our own choices, our own decisions. And because of that, we are turned to our own way. Hallelujah. Now, what do you mean by the word iniquity? Iniquity, write down. Iniquity is something that we have all done. Iniquity is something that we have all done. That is, iniquity is something that we have all done. That is, going our way going our way the way we want can you repeat the word thing iniquity? Yeah. iniquity is something that we have all done that's something that we have all done that is going our own way the way we want to that is... thank you jesus okay now also that's right now Iniquity, iniquity, iniquity we have all done. Now, iniquity equals to rebellion. Rebellion equals to disobedience. If I want to simplify the word uh, iniquity, I can simplify it to rebellion. Now, the rebellious nature of man. We'll study on this. The, the God, you know, that's what we see. Jesus has taken this rebellion nature. Now, what is this rebellion nature? If I tell you, and even those who have their videos off, okay, don't turn back, but there is something very precious happening. Very nice. Now, what happens to you? There is nothing behind me. There is only the there's nothing behind me. Now, the curtain is only there. Now, the rebellious nature of man is you want to go and see back. Even though now you can see through, you can see through the camera, you know, you can see through that and that there's nothing behind. But then you, you want to, if, if there was no camera, you will turn around and see, right? Yes. So that is the rebellious nature of man. The rebellious nature of man is where we, the rebellion nature is where we rebel, where our nature is we rebel. Hallelujah. Now, iniquity equals to rebellion, rebellion equals to disobedience. Disobedience is what Adam did and even today we do. Now, disobedience is what leads us to sin. The moment we disobey God's word, it is what leads us to sin. When we disobey, God's word, now that is what is leading us only the way to sin. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, our rebellion nature is what is leading us to guilt. Because we rebel against what God has promised in his word, because we rebel it is what is leading us to guilt. Hallelujah. So if we are experiencing guilt in our life, it is because of the rebellious nature. The rebellious nature of man. The rebellious nature of man is that we go our own way. We have turned everyone to his own way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you say we have turned everyone to his own way, means we want to go the way we want to go. We want to be, we want to, we want to live the way we want to live. But then we reject what God's word is saying. We rebel against what God's promise is saying. We choose what we want to choose, but we don't uh, choose what God has for us. Hallelujah. That's the rebellion nature where we are rebelling against God's word. God's word is promising us. God's word is giving us, is promising us what, you know, he is giving us the promise. But then we rebel against that promise. 
and rebellion equals to disobedience this disobedience is what it came to adam adam disobeyed god and even today we disobey god how when you disobey the word of god that's what leads you to sin any sin you commit in your life is because you have disobeyed god's word if i would have obeyed god's word then i would have not experienced that guilt in my life you know many times because of the mistake because of the sin we have done we experience guilt we we go into a shell we go that we have done what is guilt so i don't okay guilt is i made a mistake guilt is i made a mistake and when you say guilt what is shame i'll just ask you what is shame why um okay shame guilt is i made a mistake shame is i am a mistake thank you jesus but then see we don't understand that jesus has taken this guilt he has taken this condemnation he has taken the shame all on himself on the cross so that now we are set completely free from guilt we are set free from shame we are set free from this uh, you know this condemnation and because we are set free set free now it is only what christ has done which is ruling us when can i be set free only when i understand the finished works on jesus on the cross jesus took all our sin on the cross jesus took all our shame on the cross jesus took all the guilt all the condemnation on the cross and in exchange now we are set free we have the boldness who we are in christ jesus i am the body of christ satan has no power over me i am chosen and anointed by god by the holy ghost and with power to preach the gospel that is who i am now because there is no more shame there is no more guilt and there is no more condemnation now i realize who am i in christ jesus did you understand hallelujah praise you jesus thank you jesus now this iniquity means also the consequences of disobedience the consequences of disobedience what are the consequences of disobedience death. what does disobedience lead us to yes you know death pardon death that yes correct correct what death physical or spiritual death spiritual yeah this uh this uh consequences you know this uh iniquity leads us to consequences of disobedience Con i just we just said just now disobedience leads us to sin it was adam disobeyed god and he ate the fruit and that's why he was in sin even today it is the disobedience which leads me to sin when i disobey what god has promised that is what is leading us to sin hallelujah now jesus took my disobedience and in exchange gave me his righteousness now there is no more guilt there is no more guilt of disobedience when i disobey god when i made a mistake because guilt is i made a mistake when i made a mistake when i i feel so guilty i feel so condemned put john chapter 3 verse 17 
Hallelujah. John chapter 3 verse 17. Hallelujah. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So what does the scripture say? God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. Can you put compare? One. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Compare. Put compare now. Hallelujah. They put still. We can't see. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No. Yeah, yeah, now we can. Now, so God did not send the Son into the world to judge and condemn the world, that is to in initiate, in initiate the final judgment of the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So Jesus came on this earth not to condemn not to judge this world. Jesus came in this world, so now when I believe in Jesus, I am no longer condemned, but now I'm set free from condemnation. Now I'm no longer in condemn. Now I'm no longer in guilt. No longer in uh, hurt. No longer in uh, judgment. But now I'm set free. Many times the, the whole the devil will condemn us saying it is the Holy Spirit condemning you. Right? Yes. But say in this scripture, you know, it is not the Holy Spirit which is con condemning. Hallelujah. Put John chapter 14, verse 26. You will get to answer there. Is it the Holy Spirit condemning or no? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 1. John chapter 14. 14. Most 26. Hallelujah. Okay, but the helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor. Yeah, one minute. Okay. Yeah, counselor, strengthener, standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf, he will teach you some things. All things. All things. All things. And he will help you remember everything that I have told you. Now, here we see the Buddha helper, comforter or condemner? Comforter. 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 So is the Holy Spirit meant to condemn? No. The Holy Spirit, the helper, the Holy Spirit is supposed to comfort me. When I fall, when I am in trials and tribulations and when I fall, now it is the Holy Spirit which is supporting me, not condemning me. The Holy Spirit never will condemn us. He will only comfort us and he will teach us, convict us of God's love so that now we understand I fell, but now I don't have to live in that pit. I can come back up and now I can study the word and continue to learn the word. But that is not a license that the Holy Spirit is the comforter. I can fall and fall and fall. I'll not do any application of the word. 
Thank you, Jesus. Now, Jesus took my guilt. So, and Jesus, Holy Spirit is not, uh, uh, is not the, the Holy Spirit is not a condemner, but he is a comforter. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Put John chapter 16, verse 8. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. My mom will put otherwise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. John chapter 16, verse 8. John chapter 16, verse 8. First, can I read? Yes, yes, you can read. Okay, thanks. Eight, yeah. Alistair, can I read two? Uh, no, I will give Nathan the chance. The next scripture, Daniel, you can read. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Nathan. Okay. Uh, is it the first one? Yeah. Read. Can you can you put KGV? KGV helps us to understand. Can you put KGV? Okay. Read amplified on Nathan. Okay then. Okay, uh, I think it's I could compare. Oh, no, wait, I think GV is that. Okay, yeah. Eight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah, read it. Okay. That, that, it's that. Yeah, yeah. It's, thank you. And when his sin is come, he will reprove the world of sin. Out of righteousness, out of judgment. Okay, now, when you see this, here he's saying, and when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin. Means, what does this mean? Means he will convict us of sin. We were in sin. We were living in sin. We were in the uh, sin. But now he is going to convict us. He's going uh, for the world of sin. And of righteousness, which is going to convict us, reprove us of the world of sin. It never, it never says here, he's going to condemn us. Jesus took our condemnation and in exchange, he gave us freedom from condemnation. He does not want us to be condemned. He does not want us to be in guilt. He does not want us to be. That's the divine exchange. Jesus did not want us to be condemned or guilt. You know, when we are in guilt, we focus more on that guilt, but we have to focus more on the divine exchange that took place on the cross. Our, 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 our focus should be completely on the divine exchange. We should focus more on what Jesus has done for us on the cross, what he has accomplished for us on the cross, rather than we are, uh, you know, we are, we are all worried, we are all guilt, we are all condemned. Hallelujah. Now, the devil uses this guilt to condemn me. And he, he, he deceives us saying it is the Holy Spirit condemning me where actually it is the devil which is condemning. It is the devil which is condemning us and this condemnation, we are more focused on the condemnation rather than what God has said in his word what the divine exchange that Jesus has taken this condemnation when we are focused more on the condemnation now we are more governed we are ruled completely by this condemnation and we are gone in a pit and the extreme 
the extreme extreme place of this condemnation it will take us in a place where uh, you you know you want to end up your life that's the extreme you 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 will think your that is just say you, you know he is condemning you you're good for nothing nobody likes you you committed such a sin you know they know on they don't like you anymore you are no use you are just the uh, you know you are not of any use that is all the lie of the devil but only when you understand what jesus has done for you on the cross now you will realize no i have i have a identity in christ Christ is calling me something different. Christ is calling me a victor, victorious person. Christ is calling me, uh, you know, uh, highest, the best. He's calling me the, uh, you know, he's calling me the best. He's calling me victorious. He's calling me prosperous. He, in, in fact, he's calling us the to live an abundant life. hallelujah in god's kingdom it is we have to live the abundant life we have to live the prosperous life we want to we have to live the life of success but the devil the devil does not want us to live that life that's why he will bring lies put that john chapter 10 verse 10 mm -hmm. Ten was ten. Daniel, you asked to read earlier. You can read it now. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Okay, the thief coming not but for to steal, to steal what? To steal that peace, to steal that joy, to steal that you know that how we are studying the word to steal. He comes to steal, to kill, to break the connection with God, so that now I am spiritually dead in my spirit, where I am disconnected to God. and to destroy to bring destruction god's plan is for us see what god is saying jesus is saying i am come that they might have life and have it abundantly more abundantly but the devil does not want us to live that abundant life that's why he is coming to steal he is coming to kill and he is coming to destroy Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. So God is calling us victorious, prosperous, but the devil is calling us you are condemned. You are you know you have done so much. You are you are good for nothing. That's the best word he uses. You are good for nothing. You are a fool. Look at them. even even in the place of uh, games and you know he will come example if if there's a person okay there's a person who's really deeply rooted in the word he's he's teaching the word and he he he's going to school he's a small child now he or she he he she or she will keep a he that person knows how much christ loves him now the devil will say Look at your friends; they are all playing games. Why you are not playing? That thought might come to you also. Yes, I will not play games. Uh, I will not play any violent games at all. The thought may come: you play this game, you play this game. And not only that, there will be condemnation. You are not playing any game. What kind of boy are you? What kind of girl are you? Not playing even one single game. Look at them; they're so smart. They're playing all games. They know everything. You don't know nothing. But when God is calling you, you're the one who who has a future to your life. The plan, a uh, plan of God, is in your life. Whereas they, 
they are experiencing destruction they will experience destruction because what you expose to that is what you will see in your life uh yes no you have a question yes it's not related to the topic okay you can ask it's okay i ask it with a just i forgot at the last okay if you remember ask the holy spirit and you can ask at the last then we can discuss yeah now we were saying about the devil put romans chapter 8 was one all these scriptures i'm showing you take these scriptures and go and study because these scriptures are all the divine exchange is there you uh, we have uh, maybe we have listened to mass and all but, but uh, you know when you hear that they're they're speaking that when when you hear that the the you know what happened on the cross each step by step okay remind yourself of this divine exchange take these scriptures go and study it on and ponder on these scriptures okay yeah there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit now this scripture says there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus right you know what do you think yes can you repeat is this scripture saying now there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus right The Can you repeat the question? After the flesh. Yeah, Jahaya. The question was: Is there now the scripture saying there is no more condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus? You know, don't answer. Okay, I know you know. You already. Okay. Jahaya, what do you think? Who walk not after the flesh? Yes, that is a very important part. The scripture does not say there is no more condemnation. There is no more condemnation. No. And and a person can take that for an excuse of okay now there is no more condemnation no so I will go I will do everything else in this world and I will not feel condemned because there is no more condemnation no, no. but there is a way that I have to walk not of the flesh but I have to walk after the spirit I can't take that as an excuse saying now there is no more condemnation I can go I can I can do no there is another part of the scripture which is Those who do not walk after the flesh, but they walk after the spirit. Hallelujah! So when you say when you say that they walk not after the flesh but after the spirit, it means, okay. Now, how can you walk after the spirit? When in. Is resist the devil. Resist the devil. Okay. Okay. Put Exodus chapter thirty three verse fourteen. So this thirty-three was fourteen. Yeah, is there? Can't see it. No. Can't see. You no, know, I think you uh uh put the screen and then you removed it. Oh yes, yes, I forgot. Hallelujah. and he said my presence shall go with you and i will give you rest now we enter into rest okay okay no when i am in the when i am in the presence of god i am walking in the spirit how can i be in the presence of god In rest. 
yes correct okay uh, right. then how i can be a present how can i be in the presence of god by studying the word of god yes correct correct absolute correct i can only be in the presence of god when i am studying the word so there is now there is no condition but i can only ex be walking after the spirit and not after the flesh when i am reminding myself of the divine exchange when i am studying the word when i am knowing the truth when i am knowing jesus when i am understanding every part of god's nature every single part of the nature of god when i have that thirst when i have that hunger to study that's when i am walking not after the flesh but i am walking after the spirit thank you jesus do you understand yes now when this guilt enters i should be so i should recall i should remember i should remind myself of the divine exchange and overcome the guilt that jesus took that that, that guilt on himself and in exchange i am set free i you know how jesus took that sin on the cross it is like we have no stain sin. there is no mark there is no blemish we are set free he has blotted out every all the sin put hebrews chapter 10 verse 17 hebrews chapter 10 verse 17 70 yeah see this and their sins and iniquities will i remember no more see that word sins and iniquities they wash they blotted away there is no more sin no more iniquity nothing left we are completely washed cleansed by the, by the blood of jesus which was shed on the cross by that blood that holy blood by that peerless blood which was full be, be, you know which was uh, without sin which was pure by that blood we are set free praise god he thank you jesus put colossian 2:14 please 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 do take these scriptures and go and please study just take the scripture numbers write them down go at the, go after the class and go back to the study and the and i tell you the holy spirit will definitely give you the revelation of this in a deeper way which i have not got the oh, question chapter 2 40 okay for you to understand okay we'll first read from kgv then we'll go to jnb okay first we'll read this blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing to his cross put gnb this is very gnb will be he cancelled the unfavorable record of our debts with its binding rules and did away with it completely by nailing it to the cross now these debts i'm not talking about physical money this debts are we had to pay a price for the sin but instead of we paying that price he cancelled it he took it on himself and now there is nothing there is no more sin no more the binding rules and did away with it completely he nailed it to the cross and now there is no more sin it nothing is there no more sin no more curse nothing you know there was this 
a culture where a person who is in debt means he has to pay a lot of money he will write it down and he will uh, and he will put two nails and he will pierce it on the front wall on the in the front of the house okay they will nail and keep that piece of paper there and when a rich man used to pass by okay a poor man this is the poor man putting all this debts and when a rich man used to come by the rich man used to pay all his debts and what he used to do is fold the paper and put the nails okay why because now that so that because is, this is paid yeah it's paid now nothing has to be done okay now nothing will be have to be uh, done it's already paid and because we don't want to see it we don't want to remind ourselves that's why they nailed in a same way here he has cancelled he has wiped away the unfavorable record of the debts or uh, the price which we had to pay because of sin with its binding rules of all daily he did the way he blotted it out completely by nailing it to the cross so please do write down these notes and take these notes don't put the scripture you can take on the screen now right enoch we don't need it now then we can go to because the i was looking the scriptures because i did not note it okay now what you do is take these notes and read these notes and study these notes okay jesus and the lord jesus and the lord in my place This is endured in my place. All Jesus endured in my place. All. All. Jesus endured in my place. All the evil consequences. Yes, you know the teaching will be there on YouTube, so you can go and listen it again and again. Thank you, Jesus. Can you repeat? Jesus endured in my place. Jesus endured in my place. Jesus endured my place. Jesus endured in my place. I'll just be back. Okay, just a sec. Yes. So Jesus endured in my place. All the evil. I wrote it on the chat. Grab this, Jaya. Jaya, you have these notes. Press card. Jesus endured in my place. All the evil consequences that due to me. Jesus endured in my place all the evil consequences due to me for my disobedience. That was due to me for my disobedience. Now, in exchange. They're both connected, okay? That uh, the first sentence. That the first sentence. Jesus endured in my place all the evil consequences that were due to me for my disobedience. 
Now in exchange, God has given me all the good. God has given me all the good that was due to Jesus. This is all connected, okay? That was due to Jesus because God because of the sinless obedience of Jesus. Now in exchange, God has given me all the good that was due to Jesus because of the sinless obedience of Jesus. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 53. One minute. Uh, Jehaya, can you uh, just, uh, you know, those, uh, you put four uh, chats, okay? Can you, uh, two, you know, the first one is uh, both the two chats and the second one is both the two chats. Just put them together so the others know that it's all one, okay? Let's start. Thank you, Jesus. Can you go to Isaiah chapter 53? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jehaya. Let's go. The notes are in the chat. Thank you, Jehaya. If you want, you can copy it down. Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah, Isaiah 53 verses 3. Verses 4. Now, see this. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. This tribe, you will be healed. Nobody's paying attention. I did that purposely. Can you repeat the sentence? You have made your cameras on, but pay attention. Okay. Now, I'll read from the chastisement. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes, you will be healed. We yeah. are already healed. We yeah. are already healed. Jesus will not come and heal you. He has already healed you 2,000 years ago. And now Isaiah is prophesying that because he has died on the cross, now we are healed. Jesus had not died in that time. He was just prophesying what would have happened. And in the New Testament, we see the same scripture, Peter chapter 2, verse 24, saying, by Jesus' wounds, we will be healed. Still nobody is paying attention. You are healed. Yeah. Does it say in 1 Peter 2.24? Is it saying you will be healed? Is Peter saying you will? You are healed. You, you are, are healed. healed. That was prophesied by Isaiah that we, we have already been healed. Now, this chastisement in the fifth verse. This chastisement is the punishment. So, the punishment of our peace was taken upon Jesus. When we were connected to God, through sin, 
we got disconnected and now our peace we were having connection with god to peace but now we are, we were disconnected and now that's why jesus took our punishment and because he took our punishment by that we are completely healed and restored not will be praise god did you understand everyone yes yeah i'm telling you please 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 take these books and go and study please because when you study now you will see god is always there to heal us he can never die he has already died and that's why we are here thank you jesus please 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 do take these notes and do take these all these scriptures and go and study the teaching will be on youtube you can go and listen in the youtube because when you understand this gospel you will see the divine exchange is an everyday whole lifetime process and now what we have learned is very little but now when you go and study you will more miracles you will see more ego the holy spirit will reveal you more hallelujah he will give you more revelation so any questions you can ask now i have that question okay just uh, enough wait nathan has put a message i'll read it out we have already been over 2000 years ago all our sickness was healed over 2000 years ago all our troubles were pinned on the cross over 2000 years ago how because when jesus died he took all our sickness and suffering on that cross so when we are in a situation when you need jesus don't say jesus please heal me say jesus thank you for healing me over 2000 years ago because when you died on the cross you took all my sin and suffering correct me to that message is absolutely correct jesus has taken everything 2000 years ago over 2000 years ago on the cross and he is accomplished so as you said we have to say jesus thank you for healing me jesus thank you for healing me by your wounds i am healed you healed me already i am set free mm-hmm. yes yes god correct me to hallelujah yes you know last week last week saturday we were learning about reading and studying so why in the mass they say a reading from this book the book they say reading from the book that's because they they just read it right they just just they just take the passage from the bible and they will read read read, read, read. they will not study it do they study no after the gospel they will study the gospel then the father gives the explanation he will explain otherwise they are just reading it that's why they said uh, the the first reading the second reading because they are just reading it but then you know studying is when i take the scripture i study i go and uh, read the scripture again and again see what the other translation are telling me of that scripture understand the scripture and also apply the scripture get the result and a part of studying the scripture is teaching others that's what the father does the okay and it is the help of the holy spirit he is the one who's giving you the revelation the understanding you have to ask the understanding from him thank you jesus thank you holy spirit praise god but sometimes father say that say something wrong why is it they all speak scriptures when they say something wrong in india this they will say and all if you um, i mean that's palm sunday if if you fall and go and fall on the ground you will see your gospel power or the other that yeah you do that because you love they say fall on the ground because you love jesus and you want to do it for him 
But they are not saying because of that. They are saying we if you fall on the ground, you you will receive the gospel power. Yeah, it's no okay when you say that. Oh, you first first when you're born again, you don't understand. You're just you just believe in Jesus, okay. But then now you go and do all those things because now you understand. Now you have the Holy Spirit. Now you go. Before you know now now because uh, you will see the gospel power. It's not. Uh, you know, can you say you will sit down, take your legs up on the chair, and you will see God's invisible power? Oh. Or is there a labor from your side to study the word? Labor. Labor. There is a labor from our side also. It's not that uh, God is saying, okay, easy, take everything, take everything. No, there should be a labor to take that. Hallelujah. And, the, and we have to study the word to get the knowledge of the word. It's very important to have the knowledge and to have this experiential knowledge, not theory knowledge. This God. So whatever they're speaking, even the whole mass is scriptures. If you see, they're all scriptures. Hallelujah. So now we can take some testimonies. Anybody have any? Uh, My younger brother has a testimony. I'll just go get him, okay? Nathan, it's... Okay, by the time I will share my testimony. Uh, on Tuesday, I had come, uh, you know, in school. I was very, very cold, very, very shivering. And, you, you know, on Tuesday, it was a very, very sunny and bright day. But I was all feeling very, very cold and very... Yes, God, okay. I was feeling very, very cold. But then, okay, once I came home, I was the same. I was feeling very cold. And uh, I went to sleep. Still, I got up. Still, I was in cold. So, so uh, I was like normally listening, the teaching, studying the word, speaking the word. I had not changed. I listened. Okay. My little brother has a testimony. Yeah, just a sec, okay? First, I'll share my testimony and I'll complete, okay? Now, when I was feeling, I was feeling very cold and... But still, I was studying the word, I was hearing the word. So, after I had got up, I felt a little better. But still, I was, you know, in that uh, feeling that I was kind of sick. So, then I spoke the word and before I went to sleep at night, my mom gave me medicine. I spoke the scripture. My mom, dad and me, we made an agreement prayer. Okay, we bind the spirit of infirmity operating. We bind, we rebuke, we cast it out into the depth of the sea in Jesus' name. And we lose that we are anointed and protected and I, that, that, that I am blessed. And when we did that, okay, uh, the next morning I got up fresh. I took my Bible study. I was studying the word. I was hearing the word. I was hearing the teachings. I was like so fresh and I was like normal. And even today I'm like normal. Thank you, Jesus. So all glory to God. Praise God. Okay. Uh, can my, uh, can my little brother see a testimony now? Yes, yes. Okay, I'll just go get it. Okay, it is your little brother. Okay, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus prayed for my finger, and now it's already prayed, and now, and now, Daddy, take off the plaster. Amen. Let's God. Can... So, Alistair. Yes. No, he his nail had chipped off, and it was okay. So, so he was praying in the name of Jesus by. And uh, his, uh, daddy put a plaster, but he was crying. So when we had to remove the plaster, he kept saying, "In the name of Jesus, Jesus." He was making. Our little brother doesn't know how to say a testimony yet. Okay, praise God. That's okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing. Praise the Lord. Bless God. That that's a big thing to come and share. That that's all. 
we we you know maybe he does not know how to share a testimony in a proper way but what he has shared is you know amazing praise god amazing thank you jesus is any more testimonies enoch i have one is just no good holy just yeah, please you can you can share the scripture song then we can go for it auntie yes i'm coming to you it auntie praise god yes oh uh, one minute just yeah. a second Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Bless you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Okay. This teacher is Sam 34 then. Yes. I knew okay. it is going to work. I knew. Yeah. This teacher song is Sam 34:10. Yes. You can share. The lions grow me weak and angry. The lions grow me weak and angry. The lions grow me weak and angry. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. The lions grow me weak and angry. The lions may grow weak and angry. The lions grow me weak and angry. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. All things work together for the good to see our world Lord. All things work together for the good to see our world Lord. All things work, work together for the good to see our world Lord. All things Work together for the good to serve the Lord. The lions may be weak and angry. The lions go may be weak and angry. The lions may go weak and angry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. All things work together for the good to serve the Lord. All things. Work together for the good to serve the Lord. All things work together for the good to serve the Lord. All things work together for the good to serve the Lord. Psalm thirty-four ten. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God, you know. Nice, amazing. Praise the Lord by the help of the Holy Spirit and by the grace of God, you can do this. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Alistair. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Enoch. It was very nice. Praise Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, I got a testimony. Is it anyone all to give the testimony, or can I start? No, you can go ahead now. Yeah. Okay. Praise God. Yeah. So you know, uh, when Ashwin was little, he planted. Uh, he ate the apple, and he planted. Uh, the seed from the apple he put plant the seed so you know uh, from that tree uh, seed he there was an apple tree and this summer what happened the tree was growing bigger so we can't keep it indoors so what i did we got a small balcony so i just kept it out so this summer uh, not summer autumn you know when we put it outside it's it start dying the tree and in summer time it's uh, in winter it was totally dead it doesn't look like any leaves or like that you know we thought it's totally dead but i command the tree to uh, to be alive in the name of jesus and mm -hmm. i rebuke it all like you know because it was it was so belonged to him like you know he was like you know without that tree he was just like in you know, upset when we tell him that we will take it somewhere or we will give it to somebody Yeah, so you know now we can see the tree is growing and there is a plenty of uh, leaves. So you know the dead tree become alive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yes, and yeah, it was so nice. Allison. Like you know, I just command the tree and like you know there wasn't anything, no leaves at all. And uh, yes, this autumn, uh, you know, we was planting the water every day because we 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 believe that it's it's alive, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And when, on Wednesday I was having like knee problems so terrible. I think uh, when the children comes from the school I think the scooter like you know they ride the scooter it's bang on my knee. 
And I didn't know yeah. what happened, yes. So, you know, it was so terrible. I couldn't even climb the stairs or get off the stairs and all. So, you know, I, I rebuked the pain. I took the medicine, I rebuked the pain. And then I confessed, the, like, you know, I divine exchange. I was keep on confessing. And uh, scripture 1 Peter 2, 24. Uh, so, you know, with that, and uh, that day we have to go to the outing on Wednesday. So I said, I don't want to, uh, like, you know, um, no, say no to the plan. I said, okay, we will go out. I know it was so terrible pain. I couldn't even climb the stairs and get down. So, you know, after that, it was in the morning. But, you know, I took the, like, you know, with the scripture and all, we went out. And uh, then the Monty Thursday, I, I was thinking maybe I couldn't, I can uh, kneel down or no, like, you know, in the church, because that is more, more program to kneel down and get up. So, you know, by the grace of God and mercy, it was so perfect. The second day, evening, like not even second day, evening time, by the time it was, the pain was gone on, on Wednesday. It was mild, but I can do all things. Like, you know, I, I, it was normal to me. So I can, with the so even yes, so you know it was so perfect. So there was any no pain, but you know only I just confess it. The whole day, devil was keep on telling, oh how can you do this? Or you can't go, you can't kneel for the special days and all this. With the grace of God, I can do it, and it's done. Praise God, glory to God. Praise God, all glory yeah. to God. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Then the another testimony, Alistair, like, you know, twice. Now, today was the first day, uh, second day. And the, before my earphone, the, it is wireless. Uh, and yeah. uh, first time it was lost because I put it in my jean packet, uh, uh, jeans pocket. So, you know, I know this is area what I lost and I got it. It was the prayer time only. And uh, I mean, your Bible class. And today what happened? It's like a three days now, not two days, like three days. I put a earphone, especially I do a Melbourne uh, class because, you know, it's like everyone is around. So I couldn't even hear. So especially I does that time. And like Wednesday, Thursday, I was out because the mass was late. And then yesterday, yesterday was out. So like two days, today, third day, I didn't wear the, I didn't use the earphone. And now Shaili told me, Mama, we will do the earphone. I said, okay, we will do. So when I, I saw my case, there was one was missing. And I don't know now, that is not uh, in the whole house, I have to look for it. So I asked Holy Spirit to help me as well as St. Anthony. And then, you know, uh, both thing and uh, like 10 minutes, I finally, I got it on the sofa. It was just in the corner. Praise God. So Praise was, God. Yeah, it was just like, you know, just you started and then uh, like in 10 minutes, I got a miracle, like, because it, it was, I have to look for in the whole house. So, you know, it's not the specific place. I know like, oh, this is what it is. I thought it's gone. <laughs> but I said, no, Holy Spirit definitely will give me. Yeah. So, and then, uh, praise God, Addison. Then another testimony was um, one of the persons, she was having the loan problem. And, you know, now COVID, their job also gone because her hus wife job is there, but husband job was gone. So he had a loan like nearly uh, 400 pounds for a month to pay yeah. and they couldn't do it because the job is gone and the, you know the loan you have to pay right you, you can't you don't have you can't give but, that 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 that. Yeah. but yeah. grace of god because i i told her whenever she goes because she got a, a manager she was very good the lady was very good because she was so helpful and because of the COVID, yeah. COVID, and she do understand you know and the, with the bra uh, grace of god and uh, like, you know, I, I, I told her to confess Luke 4, 18 and 19 is the God's favor is upon us. Yeah, yeah when the God's favor is upon us, because especially this month, she told before that she have to, uh, they have to pay something. Otherwise, they will get a charge. But, you know, the, she went two days, three days before in the bank. So yeah. uh, what, they, what the manager said, you can stay for another month. And you can pay next month because he's still jobless. But, you know, with the loan, nobody gives you this. Ex uh, uh, like, you know, nobody favors you. You have to pay, especially in UK. I don't know about the other. Yeah, supposed to be everywhere. But, you know, with the grace of God, they, they, they didn't pay anything for now. Probably six months. They didn't pay a single penny. And then normally they have to pay like 400 pounds. So, you know, it's all grace of God that, you know. Uh, God blessed them and gave them favor, and they said they will do it next month. They can they can pay next month. 
this was the testimony I listened. And another yeah. testimony was, you know, uh, we met him in a prayer line. So, you know, he was asking me, nobody asked me, like, you know, the, uh, not the children, but elderly people, how to pray in tongue. I want to speak in tongue. And uh, before he was like doubting and all, but you know, after what I, I, you know, the Melbourne class, now they do the praying in tongue and all. So yeah. I just sent him the uh, uh, section. And then he asked me how everyone is doing the praying in tongue. I gave him the basic, how you have to do it. Yeah. And he was very happy to do it. And uh, meanwhile, he was just still doubting because he was every day listening. And the, when you come first, when you come first in the prayer, devil always tempted you yeah and giving you lots of thoughts so he still was doubting one papa johnson like whether he's roman catholic or he's like you know believe uh, like another religious so i then he said oh he don't say anything about mother mary i said look you just go and just jesus christ lord ministry and just type mother mary talk and then you will get it everything so you know just for make sure like his religious is catholic roman catholic and all and then he finally, uh, he was off from the prayer because he always comes for the prayer in Melbourne. Yeah, he was listening. And then, you know, the devil was tempted. And then when he clear up everything, then he knows. And now he's, get, he's back on with the Melbourne. And yeah. so, you know, their marriage also having issues. So everything is settling in the name of Jesus. And, you know, uh, so he's settled and he's back to the teaching. Praise God and glory to God for that. Praise God. Jesus, yes. Has done. Praise God. All glory to God for this all testament. Praise God. Yes. He's amazing. Wow. Thank I you. was so surprised. So many testimonies. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Listen, because we couldn't do it, no? And Friday, Thursday, we thought maybe it was late. So I didn't saw the timing. We missed the class on Thursday. Anyway, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. Yes, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, praise God. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, we uh, any more testimonies or we can enter the session? Okay. We can make an ending prayer. Knock, do you want to do? Then, I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for teaching us this wonderful truth, revealing our secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom. Lord, you love us. Your love, your mercy endures forever and ever. And today you have taught us this word. And Lord, help us to abide in your word and to learn your word in a deeper way, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are teaching us to reveal us the secrets and mysteries of your kingdom in a very, very simple and practical way. Teach us more of your kingdom. We want to know more about you, Lord. We don't want to end to know. We want to know more and more and more and more and more and more about you. Thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, in the most holy and precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God, we can pray in tongues. Praise the Lord. Thank you.